Yo, what's good, y'all? This is your boy Don from The Don Show. And uh, today we're actually announcing that The Don Show now will be a whole podcast. And we're starting off with my bros, the homies. Got my brother Lonnie right here, my brother B Rock, the bro Trigno, Ross Formation. So, The Don Show is no longer just a quick review, it's a podcast show. We're going to be reviewing every topic we want to touch on from the games, the musics, the dance battles, all of that, the sneakers, you name it. If it's dope, we're going to talk about it. So yeah, we're pretty much in the, the new year, y'all. Back to the new year. And uh, we alive. We're so, alive, we, we made it. Yeah. We, we made it's it. definitely a pleasure, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Yeah. To be alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, here, yeah. We definitely got some topics today. Um, <clears throat> just kind of looking in the inside of how we looking at 2021. I know for me, for one, it's going to be one day at a time, but if things is more positive this year, oh yeah, yeah, tell all your fans to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tell, tell all your fans to. That sounds yeah. crazy though, like 2021, bro. Mm-hmm, like, like that yeah. sounds crazy, yeah. 2021. Cause when you was a kid, you thought 2021 was like, like no, it's like, like, yeah, like cars, you know what I'm saying? Terminator gonna be walking That's around. That's a movie kind of thing. I want, I want to have those, the hover and skateboards. I mean, they kind of do have those. Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. They, actually, they actually do have those. Yeah, you kind of do that when in the water now. Like yeah. you go kind of float in the water like you Iron Man or something. I'm definitely yeah. gonna do that when we play. Yeah. There's no way I'm doing that over water. I mean, that's that's more safer. Man, it water is. is not me. You, you gotta learn how to swim. I see, I can don't swim. start the stereotype. See, that's the thing. <laughs> if, I, if, if, if I can't feel nothing under my feet, mm -hmm. like getting water, yeah. I'm going in water. I mean, I can't swim either. To be honest. Yeah, it's, it's no way. So it's no <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah, I'm, we, we, we gonna be some drowning boys. I'm, I'm out the man out here. I will say Man. one thing I will not do is bungee jumping. I just did something about that. Oh I my trust. bro, I always wanted to do bungee jumping and uh what's what's the other one? Skydiving? Um, yes. I was skydiving yeah, for a bungee jump. jump. But you yeah. want a bungee jump. I was skydiving for a bungee jump. See, I, see, no, see <laughs> listen, listen, see, I hate this. I, yeah, I, 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 I have a logic reason though. Yeah, okay, let's start with this. Yeah, let's share this. I need okay. to hear this. Okay, now we now we all know mm -hmm. that water is one of the worst ways for death. Okay. 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 Now. Right. Now. So Falling on your face, ain't you? <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> Have your head going to your shoulders? <laughs> no. Okay. Listen. Just okay. Say. Okay, okay. Say. Okay. The way I think about it, if 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 I'm in a pencil boat, okay. All right. And. The littlest wave that hit me, I'm falling over for a fact. It's no way I'm dead. Or the the second my body in that water, mm -hmm. I'm not coming back out. Okay. okay. All right. Now, if I now if I'm if I'm bungee jumping, okay. Okay. Now mm -hmm. I have, I have uh, at least I got a little bit of protection. So where I got wires attached to me, and I got on um, something that can you know, like my life is in somebody else's hands for real. For real. Yeah. So yeah. if yeah. if I die, we all are dying. You know what I mean? As in That's like, <laughs> I, mean, I mean technically it's not true, but yeah. you know what I'm saying at least. At least I got some witnesses around that if something do happen, they can be like, oh, it happened because it is that and the third. But it's anyway, like, dead. You know, <laughs> when I'm dead, I'm dead. I yeah. mean, if you wanna if you wanna rank it, you know, as far as like drowning, having your head going to your shoulders and then just instant death from skydiving, yeah. I guess it's kind of yeah, like like I, 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 I just I feel like you got a better it's a the the percentage of living in you versus you in the body of water and you but jumping is like a little bit like like probably like zero 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 point one percent more. Wait a minute, you got do like, you have Wolverine dense bones? Because if you have dense bones and, you, and you're just gonna sink like a rock, I can understand that. But if you don't, you and you end up just trying to fly just like free floating. Like, yeah, not, oh. yeah, bungee jumping as as we're yeah, looking. I'm not see. I think see, I'm not doing look that. Look at that. He's next to a building. Listen. Yes. This his is what, body hits the building. Well, his, this, is what, this, is what did it. this is what did it for me. I was, I was, I was watching. Big, you see, well. No, nah, this, this is what did it for me. It was, it was a, I was a kid and I was watching his father bungee jump in front of his family at a fair. Mm -hmm. And they got the length of the, of the rope wrong. So when this dude hit the ground, I mean, he was just. <laughs> and see, I mean, I bungee jumping is, is really like, I actually did like a little bit of research about it. The 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 cord, like the wire thing that they mm -hmm. have you attached to, like mm -hmm. that long white cord that you just seen, yeah. 
that thing weighs like over two, 200 pounds already. So once they throw it out, like yeah. that's, that's your body gone. You know what I mean? I so mean, I feel like when it, when it, when it comes to a body of water though, to a person that don't know how to swim or nothing, that's terrified of but water. You can learn how to swim, you learn, but you can't learn how to fly if that buddy jump. How do you, not how to do mention you? if they, like I said, they get the length wrong and you like, they don't adjust the slack and you they give it yeah. too much slack. Yeah. I mean, I don't trust I, that. Once I seen Will's, uh, what's it called? Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That did it for me. I was like, okay. Well, before then, I wasn't thinking about, hey, I might bungee jump. But yeah, nah, I was skydiving. I've heard the skydiving. He, 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 he I was definitely skydiving. I was skydiving. I've seen the Power Rangers. Yep, that's yeah, exactly right. That's exactly right. I was right. right. Yeah, skydiving too. Uh, Shout out to the Power Rangers, yo. Shoot that. Uh, you, the one you were talking back. about. That Bring dude, that back. Will Smith, this dude bungee jumped from off the Grand Canyon, bro. He yeah, sure he did. did. I'm yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, is he really about to do this? Like, you really did. That dude. So now he made chicken out of me. He said, oh. Yo, it's a his, when I was watching it, when he like when he was on the edge of the helicopter, his yeah. face was like, yo, I that don't was know fear. what I'm like, man, I could I, you you could tell like it was bliss. If y'all wanna know what like, fear yo. looks like, YouTube that video yeah, for us man, out of the man, helicopter. That's, that, that was, was fear. Crazy, yeah. yeah. That, that was, was fear. nothing but fear, bro. Yeah. So how you looking? So then I guess that's how we gonna start the topic. So start. that's fine. Cause I, I'm not yet yeah, stunts. Yeah. <laughs> it's certain stunts that I definitely there's certain stunts I'm not doing. Like I have adrenaline, but I'm also just know that I can't trust another human <laughs> right away with my life like that. Like I be seeing the most crazy stuff. Like people be on top of the highest buildings and they be like, yeah, I'm on a roller coaster. There's no way I'm doing that. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I was I was skiing. I would do skiing. Yeah, definitely yeah. snowboarding. Yeah, I, I, I was snowboarding. I heard uh, snowboarding before. That was pretty fun. That was yeah. pretty fun? Yeah. I would do, do snowboarding. Uh, I might do, okay, I was gonna say mountain climbing, but I thought about it. Hey, hold on, see, the thing about snowboarding, see, I don't, I guess it's, this is one fear I got, a snowboarding. So I, I tried snowboarding before, but I instantly stopped before I could go down the hill. Why would you? How do you, I don't, if, if you snowboard right, right, and you got a bunch of trees, okay. <laughs> my, my, Why are you my, snowboarding with a bunch of trees? You know what I'm saying, <laughs> listen, listen, like cause when you, when you, I didn't know. So snowboarding is supposed to be like a, like a straight heel, like it's supposed to be nothing there or nothing or something like that. Or it's just straight there. slow. So if you, if you want to go down a hill with trees, that's on you. That's, 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 that's I'm not worried fear but, yeah. of me, of me like snowboarding and then me yeah. smacking the tree. It's, it's, it's hard for me to turn. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. If I'm going see. down the hill and I see a tree, I'm going to get scared. And then I'm in, <laughs> I'm end up smacking a tree, and then I'm like, my whole my whole board gonna be broken too. I'm gonna be airborne somewhere on the other side. But so, most of the snowboarding is like open space, like when people learn it, like yeah, you okay. learn the basics. Like okay. it's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, did you see the one video? I, I, I've seen too many movies. No, you see yeah, the see. one. <laughs> that's, 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 that's where I saw. That's why. Too many movies, why, man. Yeah. So no, like, the, all the trees are far away. They are, they're, yeah. And they're out of the path. Yeah. So yeah. So man, it's, the trees are kind of like out of bounds. Trees. I'm. I'm smacking one. Yeah, the trees, the trees are like out of bounds. If you go out of bounds, that's at your own peril. Yeah, because like, <laughs> we're we're going snowboarding. We, yeah, we definitely we're going snowboarding. Y'all going snowboarding? Yeah. <laughs> we're get over snowboarding it. Snowboarding is fun, bro. It's yeah, really man. It's like you, you skateboard before. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Same thing. At least when you land so, in the snow. Man. So when you like when you when you when you about to do you turn the same way like you about yep. to you turn yep. Yep. Yeah, look, you see how he just turned? Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Yep. Hips. That looked okay. That looked. Yeah, you your feet like, is yeah. attached to the joint. So yeah. Like, using the back, you know, using the back of the board to steer, as opposed to now. One thing I will do, I will do surfing. Surfing. Oh, like surf. That. Yeah, I do surfing. surfing. You're not surfing. Oh yeah, you're, 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 you're not surfing. Yeah, you're not surfing. You're not surfing. <laughs> you're not surfing. <laughs> too many no movies. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So I yeah. seen too many yeah. movies, brothers. Two, 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 one. Yeah, y'all got it. Yeah. No, yeah. It's Moana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 no way I'm doing that. Yeah. So what do y'all um so let me ask you, what are you looking forward to when it comes to for 2021? Uh, yeah, it's weird saying 21. Um yeah, it is. what are you looking for as far as your insight on on dance? Do you do you think on a on a dance topic, what do you expect to see? Do you think it's gonna be a clean adjustment when we get back to the regular? Like well actually there's no regular. When we get back to the world, actually That's being a little active. Um, to be honest with you, I feel like 
Dan, I, I feel like COVID really changed a lot of perspectives about dance, about like people and their perspective in dance about what they can do. Mm -hmm. Because before, before COVID happened, you know, dance was like really competitive and like it was more competitive than supported. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when COVID happened, I feel like it, that it really gave a, it, it really gave people a chance to really um, remember where they came from when it comes to dance. Mm -hmm. As in like, it could be from your style or, you know, how you even came into the dance culture and stuff right. like that, you know what I mean? And um, coming back from it, I feel like that things are gonna be a lot different because people got people got a chance to like re remember where they came from. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? So yeah, I feel like their their people's approach to to dance is going to be a lot different. Okay. Like if anything, I feel like it's going to be I sh it should be more respected because mm -hmm. to today dance today is you know you know this this new like generation it's not. It's it's okay. It's not to me. To me, in my opinion, it's not really fun anymore. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Nature, yeah, really. like it's not like every like every everything is about like being the absolute best. So where like you would you would go against the person you came up with just so you can be the best. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to, to 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 find out that you just as much as the next person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like that. No, no, straight up. Yeah, it's you know what I'm saying. Up. Like if you, like if you, if you, if you come up with somebody and and like your boy is um, taking a different path than you, and that's also another thing, man. That you have to realize wh wh wherever you came up with, that does not mean that y'all have the same goals and paths. You know what I'm saying? Like your homie could could want to do something different once he or she gets to a certain level. That doesn't mean that that have to be you. That's true. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, like, I feel like that's where a lot of dancers <clears throat> lose themselves at because they they get misconstrued by their friends, like accomplishments and think that yeah, that's their the accomplishments, yeah. you know what I mean? And like, that's 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 not the case. Yeah, you know I, I think people just have a, the one thing for sure that I learned being a being a dancer was, and you know, me and Trey, we talked about it for years and I talked with you. Mm -hmm. um, no, actually, Talk to your crazy ass about it. Was um, it basically people be thinking there's so many only there's a minimum of roles that you could play in the dance world, like mm -hmm. certain careers you could focus in and dance. Like yeah, somebody could be working for the NBA team, but doesn't mean they have to be actually a baller. They can be working on administrator. Exactly. They could be the management of it and dance. Right. You don't have to be a backup dancer. You don't actually have to be a baller. You don't even have to be none of those things. You have a different focus. You could be the one that's just focusing on film and dance or theater, on being on stage with the dancing. You don't have to be go to audition every single week to get on the show. You can literally make a name for yourself online. Like, let's be real. Like, if you like it or not, you can make a name for yourself online without even asking to do an audition. You would just get clean cut in. Exactly. Like, true. you know, me and Trey had got opportunities offered just our dance videos, and they was like, yo, come. Y'all can't, y'all ain't gotta do all that. Walk straight in. Y'all already in there. You don't have to be. You could be a dancer and an MC. You could be a dancer and an RB artist. Mm -hmm. Like, that's one common thing for sure. But I think people be getting that perspective messed up. Like, and I think, you know, I think 2021 is, and last year definitely showed people like, hey, yo, you gotta be more than what you think you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and it, that, it also exposed a lot of people. Exposed oh, yeah. a lot oh, of people, man, because, man, it really, I, really did. 2021 for dancing, uh, last, last year was kind of like, that pandemic kind of was, uh, and this, I mean, it's different aspects of life, but since we're talking about dancing, mm -hmm. it was kind of like a cleanup crew. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to see <clears throat> from top to bottom, all different levels of dance. You got to see, you know, you, you saw certain people, certain individuals get flushed out. Easy, um, easy. You saw a lot of people get flushed easy, out. Man. Yeah. Um, when it came to reputation, when it came to their experience, when it came to their style, the legitimacy in their style, you have seen a lot of people get flushed out, and, and this year you're gonna see people. You know, there's gonna be certain individuals gonna be clear about what they want to do, who they want to be, what they want to do, and 
Um, that's what I'm seeing this year. There's gonna be a lot of there's gonna be a lot of people that still are like that are still lost in uh, what they want to do or who they want to be. But I saw a lot of people last year that have just and I've known them for years and they just didn't know what they wanted to do anymore. You know, um, I'm glad I didn't fall into that. Like, yeah. you know, <laughs> but find your pace, of, man. You gotta right. find, yeah, you gotta find your pace because you're, because a lot of people think that their pace is the next person's pace. Exactly. exactly. Everybody yeah, thinks their pace is the next person's pace, yeah. you know. I hope uh, <clears throat> this year everybody gets their fitness in order. Yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. That's, what, that's what's gonna happen. Absolutely. This year. It's like, it's now it's evident that if you ain't got your business in order, then you're just gonna be going to respected. Yep. And it's, at the end of the day, do you want to only be respected or you want to make a stamp or make a mark? Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. like when you go in there, like I, I was talking about this the other day, like it's a lot of big homies who um, getting outshined by their little homies because their little homies got their business in order. Yep. Yeah, and it's sad to say, but it's like you got some big homies that's that really should be called the little homie because the, the little homie throwing events and mm -hmm. doing all of this, and then the big homie just sitting there going to the events. Yeah. And all, if all you have to offer is to teach them how to dance better, then it's like, that's are that, you really the big homie? That's that comfortability, man. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's I mean, that, you know what I mean? That's what's happened with specific genres, particularly the street dance culture of dancing, mm -hmm. where you have a lot of people who should be the forerunners, the delegators, mm -hmm. the organizers, but all they're doing is just necessarily just, you know, teaching certain people how to dance, but there's certain people that should call how the culture should be run. Mm -hmm. And that's not happening. So it's like, okay, if no one's gonna run it, then Hollywood's gonna run it. Or, you know, you got people in the younger generations or in our generations gonna be like, okay, no one's respected dance the way they should. So we're gonna, we're going to set the tone. Mm -hmm. And that because and that's never been out of all the art forms that had that tone hasn't been set for days. Mm -hmm. It hasn't. You can say it in, like in the uh, <clears throat> in the chef business because food is an art form. Mm -hmm. In the graphic arts business, um, fashion, you know, music. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of tone set, but in dancing, that's the one. That's the one culture that hasn't set its tone, and everybody else just puts their puts their spin on it. Right. And unfortunately, dancers run with it. Mm. Yeah. yeah, man. Unfortunately, dancers run with it. You know, yeah. uh, back in when it when it hit, as far as in the United States, um, it was just pure passion, just love of you know love of the dance coming from all these different cultures, and um, and then eventually it got commercialized. And then after that, it's like, we're still seeing, we're still in the residual effects of it being commercialized. But again, last year is flushing that out. Mm -hmm. And so you're starting to see people actually set the tone for what it's supposed to be, what it's supposed to mean, mm -hmm. uh, what they're gonna do and how people are, are supposed to proceed. Mm. Yeah, I, got, I don't know, I think it's kind of tough. Cause I don't think it's been flushed out cause this TikTok era going crazy. Man. That's true. That's just like, that's, Yo, that's this, the one that's this, going this to... TikTok era is going, people are literally saying TikTok is a whole dance style now. But how long, is it, gonna, but how long is it going to last though? Bro, Man. That's a whole business. It is a yeah, business. Yeah, yeah. It is a business. I mean, there, but, there was a, there was a, but there was a time when there was like certain, th uh, you know, certain other things were trendy. Yeah. But you know what though? I, I'll say this though. This is the one thing that uh, like battlers, like everyone that's sitting here is a battler, you know, in some type of form. You know, and the one thing I think we all peep was when we dealt with an era of people coming into the dance, they was like, uh, yo, you know, I just make Instagram or I just make choreography videos and they show it to a battle or a, or a cypher. Your your skill level is going to get exposed somehow. Like you can't run from it. Like no one, you can post the dopest segment of your video that you did that was 10 minutes and you gave us one minute. And that one minute is over when you're in the room face to face. Mm -hmm. It's a wrap. Because we'd be like, nah, that one minute video ain't gonna save you. Because now you gotta go 30 minutes with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's been the thing that's been putting a lot of people on blast. Yeah. I've had yeah. it for years. Yeah. yeah, people that are like, you know, people know as choreographers and they think that they'll be dope in a dance battle, but when mm -hmm. you see them get, get, get tossed in with yeah, the wolves, right. it's a different, it's a different. 
understand, understand. I just saw somebody eating golden chicken. I was just about to say, I'm like, is that? I was yeah, like, yeah, that's that's golden, golden, golden chicken. chicken. They do it at, uh, I think New York City, they was doing that with the gold chicken. I, I, can't. I, I didn't even know that was a thing. It's I a thing. That. Like, I was gonna be wrong, I've seen a gold steak. But but not I ain't seen no nothing. I ain't been there. <laughs> I ain't never <laughs> ate gold. Yeah, I've, I've, I've never ate it, but I've I've seen people eat a gold steak before. A gold, a gold steak. steak. Gold I ain't steak. know that. How's that, that happening in your chest? I have no idea. I don't oh, so that's the real I'm um, in gold. Like, I, 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 I know. No I know. I know somebody that actually has uh, gold in their blood. What? No lie. I'm sorry, my hearing be coming and going. No lie. You say golden and golden. Gold. I am not I am not lying, bro. I thought I thought he was lying too, but like they, I guess he was uh at a, at a hospital mm -hmm. and there was, you know, just you know, just doing regular testing and found a trace of gold in the I said, bro, you was it Tinchala's uh, sister that was Take care of them. Cause like, bro, if that's the case, I'm on, I'm on the way. I need that vibranium. Yeah, get that vibranium. You won't be able to tell me nothing, man. I like royalty. You royalty? I'm royalty, literally. My blood, like if I slice my blood, bro, you will see gold, man. Stop talking to me, man. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. You gonna be in the streets like this man's yeah, and I believe I had to though. get robbed just to cut somebody. <laughs> just to get cut and just, to, just keep cutting them. <laughs> That's crazy. At least you get to go home. Like yeah, right. You don't lose no money. Yeah. Heard you bleed crazy. gold, cuz, huh? Yeah. <laughs> bleed yourself. Yeah, it's gonna bleed you out for real. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, that's a real drip gold. Like he been dripping for real. Wow. Yeah, I, I don't know if I would. I don't know if I would eat that. Wow. That would. That would. That would, that would, that would, that would definitely eat gold chicken that. wings. That's <laughs> yeah. I, I, I would. I'm a chicken wing connoisseur. Though, like yeah. Uh, I am a chicken wing. Yeah. <laughs> like, that would. That would. Like, <laughs> me, if I if, if I was to cut a dude mm -hmm. and I see gold coming out his, I'd be like, yo, I don't even want to do this no more, bro. I'm about to call him on business. Like, <laughs> that, would, that would scare me. Really? Like, yeah. If I if I if I cut a dude and see some gold coming coming out of his skin and it's not blood, bro, I don't know what you can do because you can I'm do like, what I'm doing to you, right? Like, <laughs> I'm still with <laughs> blood put in the bag. And I'm, just so <laughs> I'm a nerd, man. I'd be like, where? <laughs> where? Where? My whole mind. Where is your group? You got right? somebody in your family you don't care about? Yeah. <laughs> where? <laughs> where? <laughs> where? <laughs> Kill him real quick. Oh man, I'm not serious though. Yeah. Right. Back to the yeah. Matter we're, 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 we're playing. Uh, so what we looking like for the? Because uh, I know we sports fans and stuff like that. How we looking for? What are you expecting from the sports world, basketball and football, for 2021? So far, we only. I know we early in the, in the game with it, but well, still, we can talk about football. Real quick. Well, okay. Right. Yeah. 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 We can talk yeah. about football. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's what I was about. Yeah, I was about well, to we say none of us gonna win. <laughs> I, I, I would say, man, I'm definitely proud of the Browns. You know what I'm saying? For making it to the playoffs this year. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We used to leave in the playoffs since what, 2002? Two, is it? Yeah, 2002. Uh, yeah, two, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So big ups to, to the I'm Browns. Browns. I was like, uh, I was like, what happened this time? You <laughs> were? Yeah, I, 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 I was even rocking my head. Like, who, who, who did they have in 2002? Nah, that wasn't Josh. Was that Will Green as a running back? No. We had Will Green as a running back at that time? In 02? Oh, yeah, too? I think we had oh. William Graham as a running back. I don't even remember that. I can't even recall who our squad was at that time. I can't, I don't actually even remember. Yes. Yeah, so shout, out, shout out to the Browns. Though. Yeah, yeah. So shout yeah. out to the Browns. Shout I'm, to I'm, the, I'm, I'm gonna look, I ain't gonna lie. I actually do not like the Browns at all. <laughs> what, what he said, <laughs> I was not a fan. You know what I'm saying? I, was, I, I, I yeah. ain't gonna catch it. But that's, that, but man. that's, but you know what? That's cool though, because it's like some people be faking like they Browns fans because they live in Ohio. And I'm like, yo, you're not a Browns fan, you're just not a Browns fan. Like, right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, don't fake the funk. Because, you know, I'm, I'm a Browns fan. Like, I don't remember our 2002 team, but I just do know, remember us that moment when we had that opportunity to go to the playoffs. And I think that was when we was going against. I think that was dealing with the Steelers again. Mm -hmm. Like we dealing mm -hmm. with the Steelers to win or lose. And y'all think y'all gonna, gonna win? I think y'all gonna win. I think y'all gonna win. I think I honestly think that we it will be it will be a close game if we win. It'll be about a field goal. It will be a miracle. I didn't know, ah. but listen, I didn't know T.J. Watt wasn't playing and mm -hmm. Big Ben wasn't playing. Yeah. So, so they, we, 
Yeah. And it was a close game with a yeah. backup quarterback. Ah. Yeah. And that's why I was just like, but listen, I was like, I ain't gonna lie, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I looked, I was like, nah, where they at? You got to look, that was, it's like you trying to go against my, my B team and, and you like, yeah, yeah, you win. I'll be on the side like, yo, we just beat, we barely beat the B team. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, like the scrimmage team. Yeah, the scrimmage team. Yeah. That's great. But I mean, still, they made it into the playoffs, and they had, and you know, they've had some outstanding games, and outstanding. Um, you know, it's gonna be a big upset if we win. It's gonna be a big upset if we. I ain't gonna game. lie, man. I I really feel like, like if 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 the Brown if we don't win this year, I really feel like the Browns are are going to win. Eventually, within, I mean, they're like, like within the next three years, like absolutely mm. not. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. That's that's just a wild thing. Yeah, like, like, I, 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 really, I, I really believe that I, I have faith in the Brown. That I think they they, they like, get a crazy rookie. They got it. It's interesting. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, go ahead, bro. He said absolutely. That is. I will concur. No, not in that reason. But I will say this: at the very least, I would have there's. Ten years <laughs> Wait, to win a Super Bowl to or a Super Bowl? Oh, Super Bowl! Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest with y'all. Y'all not going back to the playoffs. I, no, I no. disagree. I think we are. I We're think, gonna go back to the playoffs. I think we will go back to the playoffs yeah, because they're legit. The playoffs, yeah. yeah, they're not, yeah. Going, they're not back. going back. I think, <laughs> I think, I think next year we'll go back. I think next year we'll go back. You know what? Unless, well, you know what? They will go back. It really. To the the first of all, y'all gotta get a new quarterback. Yeah, Baker yes. Mayfield is not it. Yeah, um, send him to the Jets or somebody like that. But y'all also a bad end to land. Yeah, no, send send him somewhere unimportant. So um, sorry, Jess. Y'all have to. I think that's true. Y'all's offense is y'all's bread and butter. Yeah, because that. Running back core that y'all have mm -hmm. is insane. Oh, Chuck! Oh my, oh my gosh! And y'all got it from my team. Y'all got <laughs> y'all's running back from my team. Other than Chubbs. Oh, y'all might get Chubbs. Hunt. Yeah. Y'all got y'all got Kareem Hunt and Chubbs. Like that's y'all's bread and butter. Right but now. I think I don't know if we're gonna keep Kareem. I don't think we're gonna keep Hunt. I don't think so. Don't I think I think they're gonna try to trade him. I think they're they gonna try to trade him for something. If they trade him, they better trade him. Better not for leave Chubbs back there by himself. Yeah, they better. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, and I agree with that. I don't want Chubb to be by himself. I absolutely don't. I, I, I love the fact that we can switch it up because Hunt brings a certain style when he runs and when he catches the ball from from the backfield. Yeah. So it's just like and Chubb, Chubb just that's a train. He just yeah. he goes straight man, he down. He goes where he wants to go, man. Yep. <laughs> I don't expect you know. I really like his game, man. Oh yeah, yeah. Man, man. yeah. Clearly, the Browns have become a legit team. Man. But see, here the problem with the Browns is this: is that we. Like, okay, one thing I love that the Chiefs do, like, just for example, I'm gonna bring up the Chiefs, cause that's your squad, that I, I you, you gotta have a staff that if you know you have a certain power on the team, put investment on that person. Like, yeah. don't, like if our running back is, are, are great, yo, invest in our running backs and protect them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't just be like, oh yeah, we gonna get ready for next year. No, off season, we gotta be investing. Yo, protect Chubb and Hunt. And oh, we gonna get a better quarterback, or we can trying to make him better. Yo, we gotta put money there. You gotta. I, I get so mad when a team don't. That's why I like. But my thing is, I think y'all are super sold on that boy, that quarterback. I'm and I'm not, not. And I never was. So right. I really think Cleveland is sold on Baker Mayfield. I, I really hope not. I hope not. I really, hope not. bro. Like, if you look at the past, like y'all's quarterbacks be staying there for a long time. That's true. Yeah. 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 But Kansas City has done something unprecedented, right? That's because we got Andy Reid, man. Yeah. He's the best coach in the league. The, and the I mean, is a great coach. I mean, no but they took, they all took pay cuts just so they could keep uh, um, smart man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> like, like, let's, I'm going to throw this out there. Like, the okay. boy Patrick Mahomes is like the LeBron of the NFL right now. He's going to be the greatest quarterback to ever live. Who's that the Curry? Like all jokes out who Stephen Curry in the NFL. If we talking about like how they play, mm -hmm. then he would be Stephen Curry. I, was saying, I think yeah, Wilson I was is Stephen Curry. Who? Who's Stephen Curry? If, you, if, if not Wilson, then we'll... I have to give Wilson like Kobe or something like that. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold on. If we talking about the league right now, yeah, that's deep. 
He's very important, though. I will say that he, he's yeah. a whoever he is. He's a he's up there. Yeah. We can we can probably say Steph. We can say Steph. Okay. But okay. this, I mean, as in regards to football, we've seen. I mean, it's like a whole lot of even coaches have said it like they've never seen this style of play ever. I mean, they've been, they've seen what about Patrick Mahomes in in general. Patrick Mahomes, um, uh, Jackson. Uh, and just different teams and how they like how they set up their you know do their plays. Mm -hmm. There's a whole lot of different stuff because we have different kinds of athletes in the NFL. I mean, Patrick Mahomes alone, the dude's a baseball player that that, that plays football. Because there's some throws yeah. that he makes, I'm like, that's an underhand pitch. <laughs> like, he's he's, like, he's, like, he's, very, he's just a very smart player. He's a bro. very a very smart player. I mean, and then you know. You could almost call him the step of the league. He is. I, I, I would bro. call him the step of the league. In regard, like, like well, plays. and he's like, you would call like Travis Kelsey, like Clay Thompson, and you would be like, mm -hmm. uh, or no, I would say Tyreek Hills, Clay Thompson, Travis Kelsey. Would be like, Tyreek Hill is crazy. You can't call him, you can't call him Drake. Number three. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Nah, nah. <laughs> he an Ohio dude too, so I, I definitely can't go there. Right. right. <laughs> Who's your squad? Steelers. Steelers. Oh, I, I, I stopped talking to you. Why you saying like that? Cause I'm <laughs> about to take a dub. Like, <laughs> <laughs> them shade and bronze we get, man. We get so used to it, man. <laughs> Cause y'all used to lose it too. <laughs> 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 I think the the baddest problem about the Browns that makes me mad is that we don't invest in the team that we should. Like y'all was supposed to, like we scared to spend money. Y'all was supposed to go. We need to spend further than y'all did. Was it 07? Yes. No, no, no. It wasn't 07. Who they have in 07? Whenever they had cribs and uh, Josh Cribs, we had uh, Brandon Edwards. Yep. We had Kellen Winslow. Mm -hmm. I don't from remember. Your, who's your quarterback at the time? Uh, uh dude from Notre Dame. Dame. What is? What is? Hold on. No. Brady Quinn. Was it? Was it? Yeah, Brady, Brady Quinn. Quinn. We did have him. That was a bust. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, he was supposed to be way better than he was. Oh man. That was y'all had yeah, y'all had Brady Quinn from 07 to 09. Right. Is that a shoebox? Yeah. Yeah. That was the college. Yeah. Yeah. The John yeah. You did have Brady Quinn. Uh, Brady Quinn from 07 to 09. Hmm. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh wow. And we that was the super squad. You had our tight. He was kicked. <laughs> y'all know who y'all need. Who y'all need to trade what quarterback y'all need. Ooh. And he's not gonna go, but it would just be the perfect situation for him. Ooh. Joe Burrow. Hmm. Really? If y'all had Joe Burrow, y'all would be You know people was talking about uh Deshaun Watson being available, but I know we're not gonna give him, but they say he's probably gonna go to uh, They say San Francisco. He's smart. Oh. That's that's what Shannon Sharp was talking about. I think they can pull Joe Burrow. What is Gar Garoppolo not playing there no more? Is he not going? I don't even know. I don't know what's going to happen. Well, if that doesn't happen, I think he should go to. Uh, dang, I've seen it on the list. Uh, uh, the Colts. Like he, should, he should go there. Because what? Phillip Rivers the quarterback right now for the Colts. Yeah, Phillip Rivers is about to retire though. Yeah, allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. And then we don't. And yeah. Ah man. Ooh, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't feel yeah. Different. 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 yeah, it is, man. And we just gonna have to sit back and watch the Chiefs win the Super Bowl again. Man. It's gonna be between the I, I, I would say who gonna play it if the Chiefs make it. Okay, who gonna play the Chiefs? It's gonna be the Bills or the Ravens. I don't think it's gonna be the Ravens. I'm just saying. I, I hope it. not, because we seen what happened with that. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be the Ravens. <laughs> I think I, I think the Bills gonna go there. That far? Right, right now, currently speaking, as of just currently today. Bills ain't scared of nobody right now. The they are. The Bills is the best team right now. Best in what? The best football like In the team. NFL? Right now, currently, how they are playing currently. I'm not saying that you are the season, because they definitely tell the team to the better than But as far as like... There's, a team, of, there's a team in Kansas City that <laughs> has, has only lost... Over. One game, well, two games because we sat all our starters down. Absolutely. Overall, mm -hmm. the Ken but overall Kansas City is better than. I'm just saying that today, how the Bills are playing, they're playing, they're playing better than anybody else. Oh, 
don't know, bro. You gotta win a little more. Oh, man. You gotta win a little more. That was like we yeah. shot we shot a Sally Stinger. Yeah, I was just thinking. Like, like, <laughs> for real, like who who was the last team they played? Mm, I've never played team they played. Yeah, they yeah. I'm pretty sure they fought for their life. We didn't fight for our life. Nah, we that's a lie. We every game is close. No, no, nah, Kansas City, they they uh, they do have to fight. It's just that they know how to come back. Kansas City all like Kansas. I think what what Andy Reid does is he tests out his players are so good he tests out new situation stuff mm-hmm. during games. So I think after he does that, like during playoffs, it's gonna be bad. Like when it because when they because when, when they come back, they come back with a game. Good, you know what I mean? To to pull some stuff off that guy. Uh, I think we got think about it. We got a lot of fast receiver. They they yeah. count them out. We got the best tight end. Because mm-hmm. they, they kept them out like in the balls in the first two quarters. Like, oh, it's about to look like maybe a wrap. And then third quarter, it, you know, so it gets all bad. The, the Bills is playing right now. Who are they playing? Who they playing? Coach. Uh, that's, that's right, they are. They're going to go through the coach. Oh, yeah, that's a dub. They're going to go through the coach. <laughs> <laughs> What's the score? What's the score right now? They went to 7 to 3, but I right. got the ball. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. No, nah, they're yeah. going to go through them. We'll see. Yeah, if the quarterback gets hot, like who's that, Josh Allen? They, they yeah, yeah, that boy is a, when he get hot, that boy's special. Yeah, <laughs> he's special. They, yeah. they about to put some money on him. Yeah, he's not going to better. You better, you better yeah. keep him. Yeah, yeah. heard of the bill since Drew Bledsoe. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, sounds like elementary. What else? Yeah, what else we got? We got uh, sneaker wise, like I don't know, like what should? I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we go sneaker wise, okay. Who y'all, who y'all think going to? Um, Lakers. Lakers? Lakers. I, no. I know what you got so different this season. No, say, man. man. I, I, don't, I, I don't. No. I personally think the Lakers are going to take it again, bro. I think they're going to take it again. Yeah. Nah, but it's. But I, I feel like it's not going to be an easy road, though, because I easy. feel like. But who's going to be playing, though? I, I, I think, know who I think is going to. Hey, I think <laughs> I know what you're about to say. Hold on. I think go to the state. It's <laughs> <laughs> going to be seeing them in the playoffs. Hey, yeah, no, no. Hey, fact, that would I be think, a lovely match in the season. I think, bro. I want to see that. I do want to see that. They might lose. Like, go to state might lose. But Unless that see. boy Wiseman just yeah. starts hooping on AD, which I don't see at all. <laughs> but. It might happen. You never I, know. I think. I think. I think a team that's 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 underrated right now that everybody just slept on all of a sudden is the Brooklyn Nets, bro. I think they're gonna really come up crazy this year because Kyrie not playing no games at all. Uh, just Kyrie ain't got no leader on his team, bro. He's, He's not a leader. He's not. I just. I, I just. I think. Man, Lord forgive me. For then, then, uh, <laughs> then I uh, think I. Uh, Okay, uh, say. Harden, Harden, <laughs> Harden, Harden left the uh, Rockets, didn't he? He did? Yeah, didn't he, didn't he, didn't he leave the uh, Rockets? Harden? I think he did leave Wait a Rockets. minute. Yeah, oh, it's uh, official. Wait a minute. Yeah, Harden, he Harden might be playing right, right now, but um, yeah, he probably like free agent or something. And then uh, you got, um, I think he's playing, but Dwight, Dwight Howard has left, has left the Lakers. Wow. Oh, he, he did go to the, oh, you said the Wizards? He's in Oh, he went to the Trailblazers win. Wow. Wait, wait how did? Hold on. No, no, no. Wait, no. Wait, no. Wait, no. James Harden. Yeah, James Harden. Yeah. 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 yeah, James Harden went to the Wizards, I think. Wow. And then Dwight Howard went to the He uh, sure did, because they they picked up um your boy. Uh um John Wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay, Russell, so Russell, Russell, talk about Russell, 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 Oh Russell, yeah, he's yeah, he was he's not yeah, there anymore. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. tried to uh they tried to do your boy Chris Paul dirty last year, man. How so? Oh, where he was at? Just, when they just sent him to OKC, I just started laughing. Oh man, I like hey, you know that was crazy. Man. He went further than them. That's the funny thing, like yeah, he actually was winning. Yeah, he's Chris a, Paul can do, I mean Chris Paul can He's a petty player. He, he's a, he's he plays a, on a petty level. He can have he can have five teammates around him though. That boy Chris Paul is different, bro. Yeah, he he's definitely is, a top team he's, point guard ever. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a he's a he's a solid That's solid definitely. point guard. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna definitely get a sponsorship what? by Steph. He'd be like, hey man, I like that guy over here. Who's that guy? Yeah. Hey bro, man. There was, there was, there was a huge debate about who was the better, what was it, point guard? Yeah, point guard. Who was the better point guard between Steph Curry and Chris Paul? 
there were some valid points that was brought up, you know, as far as Chris Paul, you know, Chris Paul being a, uh, a traditional top notch point guard. Mm -hmm. Getting everybody he don't involved. Really, Mm -hmm. You know, everybody involved, amplifying the team, his teammates around him. Mm -hmm. But Steph Curry is a really impact player. I mean, he's gonna change. He's gonna change the course of the game. You know, he's at, just like at the end, my thing is at the end of the day, what do you want more out of a player? A exactly. Yeah, I feel like that's what that, that what yeah that's what really matters. Because if it's what? it's crazy because it, that'll be a different because he has like he's a point guard, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Curry would drop 32. Clay would drop, same game, he would drop 21 or 22. Curry would drop 25. Clay would drop 60. Know what I'm saying? So it's just like, that's just point guard stuff, bro. You're moving the ball around. And it really depends on how, you, how your coach is operating the well, offense, too. I think that's just it. I, I think a lot of people. I won't hop in the middle of the argument of that, but I'll just say as, as far as like the naysayers on, on Steph Curry, it's like they make him illegitimate just because of the fact that he can shoot your lights out when he wants to. But that's not, but, but that's not. And he takes it to the cup. But that's not all he does, exactly. But he's, he's not just a shooter. I mean, he's definitely by far one of the best that. shooters. He can, he can, he can delegate the ball. You know, Bro, he can, he can make, he can make shots at him. Ever. He's, he's, he's scared. Yeah. Ever. He's scared. Like, that's a lethal man. Shape. That's a lethal he man. Be, he'd be landing. He'd be doing, doing a layup by the time you look up. But like, I, I guarantee like, you, look, I guarantee you if LeBron and Steph played on the same team. That's not fair. That, like, LeBron or uh, Steph would probably have probably like 15 assists a game. Or if Steph and That's AD nice. played on the game. Let me say, oh let me not say God. LeBron. If Steph, Steph and AD played together, oh my God, then bro. he would probably have more I, assists, Steph, like way more assists. Bro, I feel like if there's Steph certain, AD I feel like there's bro, certain team ups. If, he, if he's shooting and he's making it, then what's the point of passing <laughs> the ball? <laughs> I, I mean, here's my thing. If you play there's certain AD, players that I feel like should never be on the same team because it's just not fair. Stephen yeah, for sure. Stephen, Stephen A. B. or Stephen LeBron, I would like, that's like, you should not put them on the yeah, show. That's crazy. Yeah. That's, that's too much money. Anyway. That's too much money. They ain't yeah. gonna pay for that. No. Stephen A. They gonna have to take the craziest <laughs> pay cut. It's gonna, they gonna need a billion dollar uh, investment to, to make that happen again. Yeah. Uh, and then on top happen. of that, like, uh, there's only, there's really only two point guards you can put over Steph Curry for mm -hmm. uh, all time. Ooh. That's, um, Magic Johnson because he, you know, <laughs> but my thing about Magic Johnson is like, bro, he's six nine, bro. You know, he's six go. nine. He's <laughs> like, you know, like you can play any any position you want if you're six nine. Yeah. You know, and you know. the other person who's way taller. Hold on, let me let me check out his uh, before I speak. Who stuff? Um, nah, this person I'm about to say. Okay. Okay. So while he's doing that, um, <laughs> what game are you playing right now? Right now, well, yeah. I just I just beat the I just beat the um, God of War. Right now, I'm playing um, KOD Cold War. KOD Cold War. Okay. Yeah. Ghost of Tsushima. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, yeah. I am actually about to jump back on the Mortal Kombat. Listen, uh, speaking man. of that, I'm jumping on Mortal Kombat because uh, right. I want to play with Rain. I want to get it in with Rain real quick and do a couple of battles with him. Then I'm gonna take a break. Shout out to Smoke. Yeah, I'm always been a Sub Zero dude though. Oh, you don't always be a Sub Zero, but the gameplay with Rain is is pretty tight. I'm a Kung Lao guy. Oh yeah, yeah, I like, yeah. I like, I like, I like Kung Lao. Yeah, Kung Lao's gameplay in this one. Yeah. Nasty. yeah. Hold up, I'm gonna just end this because yeah, I want to get on this, yeah. this topic that Absolutely. we want. So, um, yeah, I was gonna say Oscar Robertson. But you know, the only oh, thing oh. about only thing about Oscar Robertson, Robertson is uh, he don't got no championship. Right? <laughs> Maybe I think he got one. He might have one, but that's the only person you can. Okay. Like solely off the stats, but okay. To be honest, stats, skill set. I would I would probably rather have Steph Watson than that. Big O. Yeah. I love, <laughs> I love Big O though. I'm saying. I respect that. I respect sure. that. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yo, Rain is something. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I ain't never yeah. seen rain on the game yeah. ever because yeah. he was missing yeah. from the last four of them. I have them. Oh, for real. Yeah, they was, I was about to yo. Buy that too. The the uh, the one with all the characters. Is that yeah. ultimate? 
Yeah, that's the ultimate. Yeah, I have him. Yeah, yeah. I, I bought the regular one. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I got him. I got him, Molina, and I got uh, I got Sylvester Stallone. I got Rambo. I just want to do that one time. Oh, Come on. Oh, <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. man. I Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting on it. I'm getting on it today, so let me know. I do gotta get yeah. back to it. Yeah, definitely. You but know what? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta speaking, see ghost. Yeah, speaking of games, uh, first off, the gameplay they put together for Rams gotta make sure that's hard. Like the man, what? What? Um, I, I say this. Speaking of games for for 2021, I think I'm concerned. I thought about this. I'm concerned that games want to get rushed out, and they don't need to. Like, I know everybody like at home, so everybody's like, yo, we gotta hurry up, we gotta get everybody out. And I don't think so. I think like, it's too many bugs. Cause I just got done watching a documentary of God of War, like when they put that one together. And the story behind God of War documentary, I suggest everybody should watch it. It's really actually good. If you ever watch a boring God of War trailer, not not God of War, but just anybody doing a documentary on their game, they be like, oh yeah, this how you made a game. Play. Yeah, you be like bored, bruh what they went through to make God of War mm -hmm. was like on some, it was, it was, it was, they was getting active in there. They was like, yo, that storyline is trash. Start over. Mm -hmm. And they was going back and forth. Like the, the, how they put the game together, the connection of the story about the father and son, they really, really invested in it. So I think like, but here's the crazy part. <clears throat> My point is when they was doing the bug fixes, they had 3,000 and something amount of bugs and glitches in God of War game before the game came out. And they had to get it down to zero. So imagine when they were talking about like Cyberpunk had all the glitches and stuff like that. How many times they review that? Like how many times they reviewing these games now? Cause you gotta think about it. All these games now, like how they built uh, Call of Duty, the new one. Mm -hmm. Bruh, they made that, at, most of that was at home. They had to send packages like yeah. and tell them about the direction of getting that done. Just I mean, when it comes to games, the they do get rushed out a lot. Mm -hmm. Game, yeah. Games get games get rushed out way too much. I mean, I understand that they had to push Cyberpunk back like twice. Hey, before, I'm not gonna cap. I think it was a Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk is yeah. that game oh, yes. not gonna cap, bro. That game really, really crazy. Yeah, it was supposed it was supposed to be, but I heard that it, like what's going on right now is not what it's, it's supposed to be because there's too much going on with it. Yeah. Which is, which again, like, not to take away from the fact that it's a good game, it has, like, the system from how they explained it mm -hmm. is outstanding. However, yeah. if you're going to give, you're going to give me a package, yeah. <laughs> give me a good package. Yeah. yeah. And I, and I, and yeah. here, the, the problem, I, I, think, I think that when it comes to the games, um, because we talked about this the other day, and I said, like, I, like, the, the first game that did it for me was, the that first person shooter bring mm -hmm. and when i every that was a big anticipation that that year and it flopped and so after that i just used to wait until reviews came out yeah i'll wait until i heard from you know the, the regular local crowd and just see the reviews for like about a good eight months and that's okay now i want it yeah but yeah i i, but I, 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 I definitely feel like god of, this the god of war that recently just came out is the best god of war that ever came out yeah, to top this, to top this one, when they doing Ragnarok, it's about to get crazy because you know he about to be fighting Thor. Yeah, yeah. I he's know fine. he about to get because, into Thor. Sorry for the sorry Man. for the spoiler, but you should have played. You should have played already. Right. It's too late. I don't it's care. too late. Because yeah. God of War, I, I was playing it and then I, I stopped playing it. Yeah, we talked about that because you got to be in the mode to play God of War. You got to yeah, yeah, yeah. God of War too deep. It's not you, you can't just go through it. You got to be like, yo, hold up. You said what? I kind of set somebody up for the for the whoop because I had somebody get God of War and I and I didn't know that, you know, she didn't really play it. She didn't really play the previous one. Mm -hmm. So she's like, yeah, you got to handle this first level. I yeah, said, yeah, because right. if you're if you're a God of War fan, that first level is not going to surprise you. It's like, okay, you already know what to expect in this game, so this yeah. is what's going to happen. But if you knew the God of War. Good luck. <laughs> 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 you're, you're new to God of War. Hey, yo, Jacob, who, so who, who, who in here um, is a fan of Left 4 Dead? Uh, I ain't not even read the game. I'm, I'm good. I'm gonna slide out that one. I never yeah. got into it. Let me look at it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why Left 4 yeah. Dead. Nah, yeah. uh, I'm a Left 4 Dead dude, man. Left I can't. Yeah. Like, I don't really play uh, zombie games like that either. Though. The only yeah. zombie game that I play is World War Z. 
or is he as tight? That's like, really like but I, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I saw the movie. Man, yeah, that was it. but the but the game, Sorry. the gameplay, I do like the gameplay. I do like the, the team, you know, the mm -hmm. teamwork and everything like that. I play with my brothers all the time. Shout out to my brothers, but I just don't. Left for Dead is like a. It's like it's like KOD zombies, mm -hmm. but like unlimited. You know oh, what shoot. I'm saying? You, and you get to play with four players at the same time, of course. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's just what it is. And it's and it's different. Like you know how KO, like KOD zombies. Once you get to like you gotta pay money to open open the door. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Once you you know what I'm saying every 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 kill you get you get like a certain amount of points. Yep. Versus I um, seen the trailer of that. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. Like with versus like Left 4 Dead. Like you, they, um, like you gotta like rob a zombie low key. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like before or after you kill them, and then like you gotta, you gotta get rescued by like this like military base. Like, you're trying to get up off the whatever town you in, or something okay. like that that's infested with zombies. Okay. okay. And yeah. all kind of tanks and like tank and tank meaning like an uh, actual person. Yeah. Okay. Like, is, it, is it a left? Which one is the newest one? Um, so they changed Western the name. Three. Yeah, so the so the newest one, that's how they had changed the name. It's not called Left 4 Dead no more, it's called Back mm. You know what I mean? So mm. yeah, it's that's out. yeah, that's that's like the latest one that just came out now. Okay. And, um, Left 4 Dead, you know what I'm saying? That was so that game made Left 4 Dead, was that uh what system was that on? Um, Xbox. Uh, mm. okay, that's I just yeah. I just never, I've never been too big on on zombie games. I just, yeah. I think because of that, I wasn't big on Call of Duty, and I and I brought oh, that uh, and I brought that up. Like I wasn't big on uh, Call of Duty. Like I wasn't like I played it, but then I was good. I think most of the games I was into was Tekken, Mortal Kombat, Spider Man, God of War, of course, all the God of Wars, even mm -hmm. the Ascension, um, uh, Uncharted. Yeah, love Uncharted. I got respect for Last of Us. Yo, speaking of Uncharted, they're coming out with a movie. Yeah, Uncharted. but it's gonna be the, the younger movie. Uncharted. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's gonna, gonna, it's gonna be the, who was going Tom Holland. To? Tom Holland's yeah, playing the young. That's gonna be a crazy. He playing, he playing the young. Oh, before he really man. got into who he was. That's, that's like, gonna uh, be National right. Treasure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. That's yeah. a great choice, Tom Holland. Yeah, and he Shout said, he said, relax, y'all. I'm not the older version. I'm the young one. I'm the young. Oh, who's that's Tom the Tom Holland. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Why is he telling everybody to relax? That's gonna make no, everybody they, more excited. No, they was like a kid. Yeah, he like a kid. Yeah, they was about to eat him. They just thought, no, man. Listen, man. the game and anime world ain't playing with nobody when it comes to the movies. They like. I, I mean, that's true. That's true. Yeah, and I wouldn't need. He told they deal with the Airbender. The Avatar. Com yeah, comics. When it comes to when it comes to Hollywood, they just have a very outstanding track record of messing up stories. They suck, man. Yeah, they <laughs> suck. I mean, Bro, I like sorry that. Hollywood, but like you just really do a great job of just flopping a lot of stories. Uh, and I you have a that. very simplistic script I to follow. Know, I really yeah, I understand. I understand copyright. You yeah. know, you can't do exactly what you you know what happens in comics uh, or certain, really. but still, that's no excuse. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> yeah, I like. A story can be so good, and oh, then and then they come out with like a part two. Oh, It'd be goodness. a whole nother thing. Like when they did new, like new characters and everything. Like right. remember when they did oh. the Dragon Ball back in the day? I that movie Dragon Ball. Do you remember when they did the Ghost in the Shell? Bro, I don't know. Like, but you know what? No I did. A, I, I did see a movie review on it. And the controversy was because of who played Ghost in the Shell. I understand that. And the the community was like, you know, that's cool. I think the worst one was Dragon Ball. I think that. The worst one, I think the, well, yeah, uh, the worst one. Was, no, no, no. Like, I would say the worst one was that I'm talking about. See that how people, how they would make that into a movie. How did that slide? I just want to know who yeah. in Hollywood was like, oh yeah, that's okay. It would do that. They just, I don't, I, 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 I just, there's, there's so many good yeah, stories that people can take in Hollywood, and then there's just, they just want to take the, the whack ones, or they just want to let, any, they just want to let anybody hop on the project. No offense to anybody that tried that, that made the attempt, but <sighs> why? <laughs> nah, <laughs> why? It's that that stuff is annoying. Like you, either, and you know what? And speaking of movies, let's let's call out there. DC cartoon movies is better than the movies. Outstanding. Yeah, yeah. Like, Spade, Spade. Yeah, yeah. Nice. This is it's, it's like see live action movies is another story, but I, I'm gonna go ahead and just like when it comes to live action movies, I feel like 
Man of Steel mm -hmm. was such an outstanding movie up until Superman snapped his neck. I was like, this is what makes this movie white. I'm like, that's not Superman. <laughs> yeah. They can make the, if they, if they want to make that a loss in the reality Superman, but the fact they messed up the DC storyline when they snapped Zod's neck. That, yeah. because that it goes away from Superman's character, it messed it up for like, for Zod is not doing that. Yeah. That which messed up, which messed up the Batman versus Superman movie. To which I felt like that was rushed upon us because it was an outstanding pick of the cast. Yeah. Outstanding pick. But the fact that- That was what sucked. It was, it was whack. It was whack. Yeah. Are you gonna see the uh, Zack Snyder one version? <laughs> Are you oh, Superman? Bat, Batman? Batman? No, no, no. Batman. Uh, Batman versus Superman was terrible. I was no, really upset. No, that's but, a new Batman. Yeah. Justice League, but Justice League, um, Snyder's cut. Oh. Are you gonna see that? I'm gonna always support a Justice League film. Yeah. But I think I just I'll, hope it's good. That's all I gotta. I'm, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna jump at the first. At the you know at the drop of a dime to go watch it. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna rush to the theaters to go watch it. It depends because it, it just. It was, matter, it was literally Man of Steel. After one, after I saw Man of Steel, mm -hmm. I didn't care, and, I, and then I saw the trailer for Justice League, or I saw the trailer for Batman vs Superman. Yeah, and then I was like, this is supposed to be Batman and Superman, not Batman Superman one. All right, so what? Um, so let's get into the music real quick. But before you got it, I know you got to bounce at certain times. So when you see him leave, yeah, uh, Lonnie got to be out. So I'm gonna make sure they have all your information to follow you. Um, you know, this Mr. Uh, Mr. Ladies Man, Alani. I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, but he got to definitely bounce off the podcast, but he'll be back for the next episode. So thank you, bro, for uh, pulling up for the first one. Um, what are y'all looking for for the music world in any genre? What are y'all looking for for our 2021? Because you know, 2020, we had no concerts. We had no, no tours. I was curious to kind of ask y'all, like, how do y'all... Uh, just real quick, just like how y'all feel about the music world, because Drake, I know you, you're an MC, you're an artist, you're a rapper. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of curious about, you know, how y'all feeling about the music world and how's it, you know, what do you expect from it now? The adjustments that needs to be made. Hmm. Well, well what, what do you, what do you, because uh, there, music has been um, presented during the, the, the pandemic. Yeah. So, who y'all feel like this is gonna fall off or like come up in 2021? You said fall off? Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I don't know because I, I, think, no I think it's hard to fall off as a music as a music artist. It's hard to fall off because you have too many topics to <laughs> I'm, I'm just I'm, well, I'm, let me say about the, the people that are already out there that's already like been doing like I don't think that they're gonna fall off. Okay. You know what I mean? But how do y'all how do y'all how do y'all feel about the baby? Uh that's cool. Yeah. Even though he just got arrested again. But yeah. yeah. I I mean when when you talking I I, I like it's I like certain music where you know it's clubbing wise, mm -hmm. but I also like music that got that's real lyrical. Like I'm a J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar fan, Joey Badass, and you know, Jigga all day. But far as you talking about like the baby, I, I can I can listen to the baby when it's time to like do something, do something have fun, or something like that, but I can't sit there and listen to him all day long. Like just sit back and just listen to him all day. How about you? What do I feel about the baby? Uh, I like uh, I like his interviews. You can't say that. Like that. <laughs> you can't do it. He got he got some song. I like when he first came out. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I can agree to that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but then it's like you keep hearing like I know everybody says this and he switched up his flow a little bit. Mm -hmm. And the last project he dropped about his brother. Like rest in peace to his brother. Absolutely, yeah. I, like that but, um, that, I heard that one was good. I heard one song from there. I was like, oh, he's doing a good job on here. Mm -hmm. But it's like, uh, I don't know, man. Like, uh, I don't know if I'm a fan. Actually, I know I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of his music. I know okay. that for a fact. But uh, I just, I like his interviews. I, I watch how he moves. Like how he's uh, starting his label and mm -hmm. um, 
what he does with his bread. Like that's the stuff I do respect about the baby. I right. have a huge respect for the baby, but his music is just like, you know, I think that's, I call it little nigga music. It's for, mm-hmm. for the little niggas, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So, okay. But he making big boy moves though, so I respect that. It's just the music is just not there for me. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I, it's like, to me, it's not like he's, you know, whack or anything like that. It's just like, that's not, that's not what I'm gonna listen to every day. Yeah, that's, that's I, not, I, I yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's like, for me, I'm not listening to him every day. It's not like, a, oh, you're a hater. It's like, no, I just don't listen to that every day. That's a certain style of music that I look forward to that I'm not getting from him, which is fine. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, he ain't gotta, he ain't gotta write like my favorite, you know what I'm saying? But. I know what I like, so I'm like, yo, I can deal with Baby at this moment, I can do J. Cole at this moment, I can do Joey and Kendra at this moment, because I'm looking for is Kendra Lamar. Okay. That's what I'm looking forward to. I heard he's dropping a project with Baby King. Mm. Dang. Talk about fall season? Nah, Kendra Lamar, mm-hmm. it, I don't know what it's called. They doing something okay. together, and I, I heard Baby King is his cousin. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, um, uh, I don't know what to expect from that, but Kendrick Lamar has never let me down, so I'm just going to pay right. solely off of Kendrick, not baby King. I think the question we asked about him is, you think this next one will go gold or platinum? Mm-hmm. His next album? Yeah. Kendrick mm-hmm. Lamar is going to go platinum every time. I can yeah, see that. I, I can yeah, see I that. I agree with that. True. Every time. I don't think any of his albums uh, are mainstream. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anything on the planet. Yeah. Especially when him, he got a style of a storyteller, so it's like, they don't run out. You got, yeah, you got. Storytellers a- don't run out. Storytellers don't run out. That's one thing, like, I, I'm not the, the, the genius in, for the, for hip hop and all, but I can definitely tell you from one thing I learned that anybody that's a storyteller, they don't run out of material. Nope. They don't, like, yeah, yeah Jay Z went from material of it being in the streets and like, yo, step your game up. Yeah. And then now he just at a level where he like, I do what I want. You know what I'm saying? I either buy your state or your country, I, I'll let y'all know. Like, he's on that conversation, then Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole are storytellers, and Joey, what would you say, Joey? Same? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to see something from Black. Oh, you talking about Black? Oh. I yeah, I don't think he gonna. Not, I'm not pressed. When it comes to music, mm-hmm. I I don't really have any expectations. There's certain artists that I've that I've enjoyed over the years. I'm like, I want to hear something. I want to hear something from. Them. I want to see like where they at now. Yeah, not that I got necessarily get an album, but I'm not really having any expectations. Did you hear the six piece one you did during the pandemic? I did. Oh, I did. I heard yeah. it. Yeah, I didn't listen to it after I heard it, but. Yeah, I gotta check it out. I, I, I mean, it. You know what I think? I'm starting to learn. Like, it's all about like that producing, like putting that beat together, putting that sound together. That's part of it. Yeah, mm. yeah. That's one thing I'd be looking forward to is that good sound, and then putting together, matching, like making sure they match it. Right. You know, what there's saying? a lot of artists out here who um, depend solely off of their mm-hmm. producer, mm-hmm. and that sucks. Mm-hmm. Like that. It, it's like that, and uh, that's the type of music I don't like. That's that was my argument with the baby. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like his producer give him the beats, mm-hmm. but his uh, once that flow and that cadence is literally the exact same formula. It's like I'm mm-hmm. not trying to hear this again. It's, I feel like I'm listening to one song. Ah, okay. But yeah, the beats is not good. Right, Take it easy, brothers. Yeah, alright, bro. Yeah. We shaking hands, y'all. So don't yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>
the some of the I like some of the projects that he did. Um, for example, one of my favorite songs of, of him is um, Starboy. Uh, I feel like that record is really, really, really nice. Mm -hmm. Like for real. And um, some of the things that he was talking about in that record, um, most people can, can can relate to. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, um, <clears throat> but I feel like, uh, yeah, I, I really like his creative mentality. Like I feel like when The Weeknd is doing a visual, like he creates with them in creativity. Mm -hmm. Like as in he can be doing something that he thought about yesterday, but still recreate at the same time as he doing the same thing that he just thought about. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I feel like it takes a it, it, it takes a complex of mind to to be to to have the ability to do something like that at one time. As you're doing something you already had planned mm -hmm. right? to do that. So I got a team though. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? Team. So absolutely. Um, I definitely like the weekend a lot, man. Yeah. He absolutely got a team, and his team is nice. Whoever is behind all that madness is, is that's really really tight. Yeah. We also, also to another person, I feel like is is kind of similar. And don't don't go on this. Is Don Tolliver? Don Tolliver. Yeah. Don Tolliver. I feel like he is really really nice, man. Like that dude produced some nice some nice records. Yeah. He, uh, I think he's the future. Yeah. Yeah. Fact. I feel like okay, that yeah. he he yeah. he produces some nice records, man. Like you know what I'm saying. And, and I feel like him and him and the weekend is very very similar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very very similar. Yeah. I can't believe everybody really thought uh it was funny to me, everybody thought that weekend really got plastic surgery on his face. <laughs> and I kept trying to tell y'all, I'm like, listen, he I promise y'all he's being petty. He's it's all part of his plan of like the PR team. It's all part of the marketing. But that's that's when that's that's what it looks like when you tapped in though. Like when you tapped in into what you're trying to do, regardless of what it is, like it, that's what it looks like. That's what it absolutely looks like when you try to think, like you can get into that where you make everybody be like, yo, did you really just do that to your face? No, I didn't, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Relax, I did. Cause he had ended up dropping a commercial for a halftime show. He's doing a uh -huh. Super Bowl. He showed his face. And uh, he's he's doing the Super Bowl this year? Yep, me doing a halftime show. Yep. It came out uh, yesterday. Yesterday I saw the commercial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's going to be coming out. So just like, all right, bet. He going to kill it too. Because like what he did for uh, Bebo and other awards, he stayed in character the whole time. That's that's live. Like when you can stay into your character, how it needs to be in dancing. When you stay in your character or you switch to another one, staying into it. So yeah, man, I know you see the Ghost of Tsushima right now. It looks beautiful. Yeah, I'm like, it? I'm trying to, yeah. not to get sidetracked, but it's like, I, it's yeah. interesting to watch. <laughs> yeah, this is how it you know is. Saying? This is how it's supposed to be. Like, it's what you need in your life, man. It's what you're missing. This just kind of reminds me of like a, this is a mixture of a lot, man. Yeah, like, it's I'm, everything. I'm, like I'm getting like Ninja Gaiden vibes right, right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get everything, man, when you play that game. Bro. Back. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Is there anything else y'all looking for for us before we wrap up that you looking for for 2021? I know for me, oh, it's day by day. I'm I'm looking forward to quality, man. Quality. Uh, did y'all uh, did y'all listen to Jasmine Sullivan's album? Her project? You trying to get me emotional in here right now? Oh, I'm good, man. Like, I, I'm waiting. I'm waiting, wait, I'm waiting till <laughs> tonight. I was gonna wait till tonight to chill back and listen to it after today. Cause it's, because she you knows she's a goat. Yeah, for sure. And that tiny desk, I already seen a piece of it. Yikes. Yep. She got her on there. Uh, she got Anderson Pack on there. It's fire. It's short too. And that's okay too. You yeah, she me? said it wasn't an album, it was a project. Mm. Whatever that means. I mean, I know what that means. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. She was singing on there, too. I love me some good singing. I just had to see if y'all listen to it. Yeah. Are you into the Japanese? Mm, not really. She did it for me when she did Lion Tigers and Bears. That was yeah, one of the grand, that was the song that did it for me. Because I know everybody had a track, but when I heard Lions and Tigers and Bears, I was like, Oh no. I was like, oh no, who this? They was like, man, this, up. They was like, this is Jasmine Sullivan, man. Get some of this. And I to this day, I still rock with her. I still rock with her. And I and I, and I dig her. Her crazy. Mm -hmm. Her is crazy. She is Okay, happy. now I'm I'm definitely a fan of that. 
Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, I think she dropped an album. Yeah, yeah, her, yeah. yeah, her yeah. Her it was, was, was amazing. Yeah, she crazy with it. I she love really it. Came up, man. Like she, yeah, was she. Um, I remember when she wasn't showing her face. Yeah. I'm, it, oh yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. yeah, she wasn't showing her face, and then she now she got her own festival. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. She like twenty three too. Grinding. Gotta love the grind, man. Gotta love the grind. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't have any. I mean, when you said on quality. Yeah, man. I want to. I want to. Anything that's presented and um, being put in twenty twenty one, man. I just hope people really took the time to make it make it authentic as possible. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because that's my definition of quality, right there. Yeah. Because man, twenty twenty and even two thousand nineteen, man. A lot of you know, we live in the world today to where it's just, you know, it doesn't matter what it is, just get it out there, sell it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't no matter who no matter who it hurts or no matter what it is, just get it out there because we have we we, we have a deadline. Right. You know what I mean? And um I feel like that the world the world we live in now gets tangled in that a lot to where it takes away from what what something was all about as a why as a, as a why it, it began in the first place. Right. So I just really feel like whatever I'm talking music, dance, sports, anything, whatever that gets put in 2021, man. Um, who the, the team that's behind the organization, whatever, really just really took the time to be like, this this is something that's gonna work. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, or or at least have a have a have a have confidence about it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Versus, oh, you know, something that's what we create. Okay, go ahead. You know, throw it out there, sell it. You know what I'm saying? Because that again, that takes away from the as of why it, it began in the first place. Yeah, and, and, and it, it makes it not fair for the people that for the people or the things that been there. You know what I'm saying? That that um, so that supported whatever and proved their their like lo like loyalty to anything that was a part of that. So. Mm. I feel like that, man, if anything is gonna be out there this year, man, just let it be real. Mm -hmm. It's just something that people can relate to. And um, on top of that, like, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's hard for everybody, you know what I'm saying, because of the world going through this crisis. Mm -hmm. But, you know, at, at the end of the day, but this is, I feel like this is the best time to like really grind, you know what I mean? And that's why I said earlier, a lot of people, and COVID exposed a lot of a lot of people and a lot of things. Yeah, you found out if you won it or not. Yeah, like, like if it, anything you was into, really if it exposed, it lets you know like things, you really want to be part of you know what, what you say you do. Like if you say, you know, I don't care if you say, yo, I'm I'm good at selling two brushes. Yeah, you are gonna find out like if that's really what you want to do exactly. for a living or a career. So. And it gave it gave people like it 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 gave yourself a check. You know what I'm saying like. You um you probably wanted to start or do something before COVID happened, but then found out that you didn't want to do it as much when COVID happened. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like I feel like that it exposed a lot for for yeah. just just within yourself to figure out what you really wanted to do and what path you wanted to stay on or take. You know what I'm saying. No matter what obstacle may have came your way or what circumstance that you was under. Yeah, absolutely. You know I mean, I, I think I think the main thing is is you gotta really just like you gotta take advantage of this time to just question yourself about what you want for real like exactly. you know what you really want to be on and take the time to like check yourself about like what you're what you're focusing on when it comes to the goal and not try to like go by go with somebody else's speed like what we brought up earlier about the dancing and like different people's paths or career wise like just because let's just say Trey wants to go harder than me when it comes to being in the open styles battles tournaments mm -hmm. that might not be for me i might be like yo i want to put my time in battle wise on house or chrome mm -hmm. but that's fine because it's like yo as long as i know where i'm at like everyone's yeah. everyone's skillful at a different place people lose sight of that so yeah. much man and it's it's you know when you when you take some time and just take a step back and then just 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 be the be the person to just observe mm -hmm. you know you start to figure out a lot of stuff so you 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 begin to separate the people that's that's doing it for real versus the people that's like following. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and that, that's why I'm like, man, you know, a lot of a lot of dancers that you speak of, um, they they get entangled in that I don't know, and then once they see one of their friends or a person that they came up with get to a certain point, you know, they think that 
that's their success too mm -hmm. because they don't know what they they don't know where they are where they're at as, as a person and they forget about what they even started or what they was even part of because they get confused with their their friends story you know what i'm saying and yeah that is their path and it's not yeah man it's it's, it's really gonna be about like what you want for real like yeah. it's okay to not know nothing yeah you know what i'm saying you ain't gotta be a know it all you, you absolutely ain't gotta know know it all i see you trying to preach mr b rock <laughs> you get a beard now now you want to preach like, <laughs> nah, you're woke. You are, you know, you're woke now. You're big, you're bigger, you're smarter now. Huh? That's it. That's why I'm saying. Like right. Oh yes, I am. Yeah, I'm dead. man, and that's an incredible book, and I'm about to, I'm about to redo it and decode it. I should have known you was gonna read it. Oh, bro, you know I, you know I, am. you know I am. You gonna read books this year? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you see what I did? I <laughs> you reading books this year? What books you reading, Mister B. Rock? So actually, I read two books. Actually, man, he quarantine. read a book. I, I, I actually read a few. I actually read a few, man. I read the, um, I read the, I read the Steve Harvey book, man. It was, I, I think it's called uh, uh, the How the Road to Success or something like that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It was about Steve Harvey, and it basically. He was basically um, the the message I got from it was um, to you know life is all about taking risk and um, it was lots of stories in there a lot of obstacles that he had presented to us during you know when he was writing a book that um, what works for him and that's something that I like about Steve Harvey because the stuff that the even the advice that he gives to anybody you know he always let it be known it's not for you. Mm -hmm. This is something that works for me. Now you can take what I'm saying and make it your own, but remember, I'm not telling you to do what I did. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that that's key for, for when when somebody's telling you something and you don't know if it's the right thing to do or not. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, um, but that was a really really good good book. I learned a lot from it, and um, it kind of it kind of triggered my mind when it came to me planning a project or me planning something that I wanted to do or I always wanted to do. So mm -hmm. um and then I read this other book by uh you read two books. No. <laughs> and then I read I'm gonna wrap up because that battery on the legs but yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah just to wrap up real fast man um I read this other book on all kind of investments and um all kind of like business and how to start a business and how to how to go about when it when it comes to being an entrepreneur. Um yeah, so basically, man, to put it in a nutshell, you know, it takes a lot of sacrifice um, within itself and it takes time, very precious time to get to where you want to be. And you, and you got to start from the bottom if you want to become a, a, a good entrepreneur, you know what I'm saying? And you got to be authentic and own your shit, own mm -hmm. your stuff, man. Mm -hmm. you know, don't, don't, anything you got, don't let nobody, you know what I'm saying? Try to try to put their name under it or over it because it's yours. So it's better get glasses and a beer and you know, smart. Ain't that smart? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was tight. That was yeah, definitely tough. So. All right, fellas, is that it for the for the podcast? Is that it? Anything you yeah, gotta no, say? I, so. I, just, I just wanna say, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. Two underscore cosmic. That's T O O underscore cosmic. C O S I no C O S M I C X cosmic. Follow me. I will follow you back. Maybe if you if you if you if you got COVID, I'll follow you back. Dang! Wow! <laughs> Dang! Wow. Look at him. He ain't trying to catch COVID. Dude, <laughs> Why? Trying to? You know what I mean? Nah, I'm fucking this. Don't worry. Damn, you got anything? Uh. Google me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Trigno Music, T R I G N O Music. You'll see my website on there. You'll see all my other profiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Make sure y'all go listen to that, though. It's fire. Oh, that's, that's a fact. fact. I mean, no cap. That's a fact. Like, no cap. Yeah, that's an actual fact. Should I get around to it? You know what I'm saying? If you feel like having your ears blessed and you don't want your ears to bleed for the other music, y'all be listening to some good lyrics. Some good lyrics. Yeah. and beats. My Everything. Man. Yeah, and I'll make it easy for y'all. I will make sure I have their uh, links in the description so you can be able to find them. If you got any questions for them, you want to follow them, support them, you'll get all the information set for his. 
Um, not this one. Um, because now he got glasses and a big beard. <laughs> smart now. New name now. Yeah, he's hey, smart hey, now. Hey, look, brother, man. brother Rock. Brother Rock. Brother Rock. Brother, brother Rock Ali for brother. Yeah, Rock Ali. Brother Rock Ali. <laughs> but no, appreciate y'all. We will see y'all on the next episode next week. Thank y'all so much for watching this podcast. If you watched this all the way through, thank you. First Deep. episode of the year. Absolutely. First episode and many more to go. I just got to stay consistent so y'all won't get on my nerves. Yes, sir. So we out of here, y'all. Peace. Peace. Y'all still up here.